Narcissists and toxic people like to control their images on social media and in real life as well. And if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder. In this episode of A Narcissist Explains, we're going to be talking about the reputation that a narcissistic person loves to uphold and how they try to control it. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So this right here could be a clear example of a possible narcissistic person, toxic person, whatever, trying to control how they are viewed on social media in different places like that. He makes me post about him online, but he has to prove the pics and the caption, all that, blah, blah, blah. That is extremely controlling, y'all. Like, honestly, he might as well be posting the pictures and stuff for you. But seriously, a person like this is trying to control how they are viewed online. So just in case they do something bad to you, People can look and take a look at your profile and be like, well, you were posting all this good stuff about them, so it couldn't have been that bad, right? Am I right? And so typically, if they're asking you or making you post things about them, they might not be posting you as often, or they might be trying to appear single online on their own profile. So, hope this helps. So, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you couldn't read the text on the screen, it says, he makes me post about him online but he has to approve of the pics and caption and tells me what to add in and stuff. Woof, y'all, if that's not controlling how you are viewed online, I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? I don't know what that is. But you see, when you're dealing with narcissistic people, toxic people, that image is absolutely important to narcissistic people. Like how we are viewed, how we are perceived, and things like that are absolutely 100,000 million percent. <laughs> how we, it's important narcissistic people want to control their images and one one of the main reasons why is because we want like controlling our image gives us plausible not plausible deniability controlling our image gives us reasonable doubt people are going to like if i have a good up if i have a great image an up, a, a, i'm a upstanding person in society right i'm an upstanding individual in society and things like that I do. I go to church. I, I I give back to the community. I you know I mentor. I mentor ment, mentor troubled youth. I do all of that stuff. You come out and say something negative about me. People are going to be hard pressed to just immediately believe that. Some people might immediately hop on the believe in you bandwagon, but I have reasonable doubt for most people in my life. You see this happen with a lot of celebrities. Matter of fact, you see this happen with a lot, a lot of celebrities because like especially a lot of celebrities that are, you know, philanthropists and do so many good deeds and give give to the poor and the homeless and they go out in the community. They help them build schools and churches and stuff like that. But at home, they be beating the hell out of their wife and kids and manipulating the hell out of people or cheating on their husbands and stuff like that. You're like, wait, what? No, there's no way that she would do something like that. She just fed 100,000 homeless people. There's no way. You know, you see this in the famous people. You see this in the famous, uh, famous realm, but it happens in the normal person's realm as well, y'all. Narcissistic people, like normal narcissistic people, like the average, the average American, also likes to protect their, um, protect their image as well because it gives them plausible, not plausible, not deniability and reasonable doubt. It gives us the benefit of the doubt. Like you, you know, I don't know. Lee, Lee cheated on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lee Hammock cheated on you. There's no way, like, no way. He he just left his sins at the altar in church on Sunday, and then he he helped he helped my grandma across the street the other day. He he fixed he got that cat out of the he he climbed the tree and got that cat out of a tree. The kitten out of the tree. He found my lost dog. There's no way he would cheat on you. And you have to go above and beyond to prove it. You see what I'm saying? The image is everything to a narcissistic person. And like a lot of times, the most dangerous times you face in, in toxic relationships is when you threaten their image. When you threaten the image of a narcissistic person, that could be one of the most dangerous times in this relationship. It just, it just can, y'all. One of the most dangerous times in this relationship is when they is when you threaten to reveal, you threaten to expose them, when you threaten to reveal them, when you threaten to hold them accountable in the court in the court of public opinion and things like that. So yeah, this it can be dangerous dealing with a narcissistic person, y'all. It just it just can be, you know. And this is not me trying to tell you not to expose them. This is me telling you that that's the way it goes a lot of times. 
Like this is the way it goes a lot of times is that you have to go you have to go at it like this. You know what I mean? You have to like it, it, you have to go above and beyond like and like a lot of narcissistic people will try to convince you that, you know, you revealing the truth about them is a smear campaign. They'll try to convince you that you're the narcissist for telling on them. Like they'll be like, you told her, you you told it. You spreading rumors about me. You're you're the narcissist. You were doing a smear campaign. Yo, I'm gonna do a longer video on this right here, on this statement right here. I'm gonna say next, the statement I'm gonna say next, I'm gonna do a longer video on it. But the truth, the truth, the truth cannot be a smear campaign. Telling your truth, telling the truth, not just your truth, telling the truth is not a smear campaign because the smear campaign is composed of lies and falsities and half truths, not whole truths, half truths. Half truths benefit half truths are still lies and they benefit the person telling it. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, you have to document stuff. I'm not telling you to expose the person in your life right now, but it's a lot of times if you don't have documentation or or proof or whatever, it's going to be your word versus their word. You know, and if their reputation is pristine in the public eye, your word is not going to carry as much as much weight. You see what I mean? If you want your if you want your word to carry more weight, then you have to. Like I said, you might have to document this stuff. And I'm I'm, te I'm not telling you to document things just for exposure purposes. I'm telling you to document things just to protect yourself. You know what I mean? Just to protect yourself because they might try to expose you. If you ha if you have experienced some some reactive abuse where they've caught you on camera reacting to them, they caught you on camera blowing their phone up. They caught you on camera putting their hands on, putting your hands on them, you need to document stuff to protect yourself and to protect your image as well. Sometimes you might have to fight fire with fire, y'all, but sometimes the best way to, to stifle out a fire is to just let it, you know, just to suffocate it. Don't give it air. Don't breathe onto it. And like a lot of times, if you're going back and forth with a narcissist, that's you breathing life, breathing air into that fire. You know what I mean? So the truth cannot be a smear campaign. And like narcissistic people want to control their images, so they can plus they, they want to control their images so they can get more supply from other people. So if I have a great image, more people are going to want to be around me. More people are going to strive to be like me. So I'm getting supply from having a good image. People are going to be jealous of me from having a good for having a good image. Married with kids and good. Blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? The standard, the standard, uh, <laughs> the standard good image package and whatnot. So a lot of times you have to deal with this dynamic. You have to deal with these situations and, you know. Just be careful, y'all. Document stuff, protect yourself, and things like that. You have to, because if you don't, I'm just telling you, you're gonna end up, you end up wishing you had. But anyways, y'all, let me cut this thing short. Um, enjoy your Saturday. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.